Okay, what I am doing, I have my shield on. It's a very, very windy day today. But what I'm doing is testing my new mic. I am so fed up with Purple Panda. Even though when it worked, I got good results. Purple Panda mic failed on us three times. I mean, just died. We tried every configuration that we could use and it failed on us. And we purchased another one. That one failed. And we sent it back and it gave us a new one and that one failed. So I don't know how many times I'm gonna send a mic back. And we were using it with our Zoom digital recorder, which got good results. The thing I do like about the digital recorders, you get to set your own game. Whereas just plugging a mic directly into a GoPro, you don't have an opportunity to set your own game. So you must have a great mic or a great sounding voice. Like cake voice sound extremely well compared to mine. Ooh, all that wind, I had to get some air. Cake voice sound extremely well compared to mine. And which, when I listen to motor vloggers, most lady voices do. And when I have my shield up, I sound better. But today is windy, so I'm gonna keep it down. Even though I have the dead cat on it, it might not pick up on the wind, but I'm doing 50 miles an hour. So I'm testing this out and I'm not gonna do any auto corrections. Just wanna test it out, see how it sounds flat compared to the purple panda that keep breaking on me. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I finally, finally scored an excellent deal on a GoPro Hero 8 because, you know, we have been using the GoPro Hero 4 session, the original session, which you cannot use any microphones, not even an adapter for it. So we had no choice but to use an external source when we want to do speak in motor vlogs. But right now I am doing 50 miles an hour on a back road. But for the most part, it is extremely windy today. Let's see if I catch that flag up there so you guys can see how windy it is. It is extremely windy and I have the wind muffs or dead cats, whatever you prefer to call it, to block out some of the wind. But for the most part, we do our motor vlogs around the, the, the flag blowing. Do our motor vlogs around 40 miles an hour and under anyway. So this will be a good test. What I'm going to do is it's kind of ride through a neighborhood. I try to keep the speeds around 40 miles an hour when we normally do our motor vlog. And make sure that it's not doing any crackling and picking up. Oh, I forgot to mention. We also have the microphone plugged into directly into the GoPro media mod instead of the digital voice recorder. So I'm gonna do some comparison and see if I like the media mod compared to the digital recorder. Now, one of the things I do like to do about the digital recorder, like I said, is I can set my own game. But the one thing that I hate about it is every time we, we ride in on the road and we want to record something, Kick and I have to pull over. And remember, both of us were using the session. So we have to pull over, turn on both of the GoPros, turn on or and or plug in our mic into the digital recorders. And then, of course, we will sync them with a clap. Now, it turns out fine and it turns out great on our videos, but now I have to sync up four different sources. The two digital recorders, along with our, this right here. Our, uh, let me turn to this neighborhood right here so I can just do some regular riding without doing 50, 60 miles an hour. But then we have to, rec we have to sync up that with our GoPro. Woo! Now I can ride with the face shield up. I got all my protective glasses so I'm all good. But when we're doing that, it just takes some time to sync it up and just make the video have more megabytes which turns my videos into gigs. And we all know 
the higher your video is the longer it takes to edit now videos like this just me speaking there's no real editing in it however we only have one hero eight and if this come out good we might purchase another one and you know how much they cost and what we like about what i like about this is it's already in the media mod and obviously you can't just press the the quick function it won't work with the microphone in the back of it so you have to make sure the gopro is on first and what i use is my remote that came with the gopro along with several other goodies for uh, 200 when i seen a price and the guy was selling for 200 dollars, i didn't even want to negotiate because the reason he didn't like it because the battery doesn't last that long and obviously he's correct when i first used it, the battery ran out and all i'm going to do with that is just put a battery pack on the back of my helmet you know people say they don't like those things because they don't like those things because it makes their helmet heavy and if i never seen a difference in no matter what i put on my helmet really make it heavy so, so i guess to each his own okay now this is probably the speed that we would normally ride to do motor vlogs and i'm gonna leave the shield up just to see how it sounds and hopefully the day cat are taking away a lot of that wind sound and because my gold wing don't have a loud motor sound that's irrelevant now if i was riding a bike with some throttle in it of course i would want to hit let you guys hear the engine and the pipes and all that good stuff so those of you who ride those bikes with the sound i love hearing that but of course i want to hear your voice is the top thing that i want to hear first i'm going to make a couple of u-turns that slow scale riding make that u-turn right here look where i want to go dip that bike around here we're not like doing u-turns around objects because it gives you a visual representation of what you're making a turn around. And if there's no object when I make U-turns in the middle of the street, I just do try to aim for the center line. I know I'm not gonna hit that center line, but that's what I aim for to make my U-turns tighter. Look like this car not even gonna stop. Cool, he stopped. So just riding around, testing it. So I just wanna know from you guys, how does it sound? Because what you're getting is raw footage. I'm not gonna do anything in post to equalize or change the audio in this. But anyway, this is my first a series of tests. Another thing that I, I purchased because I am waiting for it to arrive. Whew, this thing all in my lip. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to arrive is a game mic from i think it was xbox game headset mic and the reason i got that i was watching i think it was her two wheels and she had excellent sound and she was telling everybody how she got her sound obviously female to me anyway female voice come out a lot clearer than male voice my voice have a little bass in it not like my man gil from gb winging it but my voice have bass in it and when i put my helmet down i mean my shield down like now I noticed the boxy sound, but hopefully the Sony and the wind have kind of taken that away. Anyway, she uh, uses, her husband told her to use the game mic. Greatest things about those mic, they are designed to be close to your mouth compared to a lapel mic. And you know, lapel mics are designed to be 6 to 12 inches away from the speaker. And they work extremely well when they're far away. This is why so many of you or I would say you, us, struggle with audio because we're using lapel mics and the lapel mics we are using aren't designed to be this close to our mouth. So either we gotta speak a little low so we won't over modulate or we gotta scream if we're riding in a windy area. And sometimes we ride on freeways. Oh, they got a lake over there? I never knew that. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Is this near the golf course? I think we found another spot to take a hike and have our little romantic lunch cake no she's not with me I'm just talking to her all right that's good enough test in the neighborhood let me go on and go about 50 60 miles an hour again no I'm gonna end that test right now 
Thank you guys for watching. Tell me how you what you think how this sound. And then when I find out when I get my other two microphones, actually one microphone I'm gonna use also is the Cena Boom microphone. Obviously, because any any Bluetooth microphone are designed to be close to the mouth also. That way you get extremely good audio. But anyway, I'm gonna cut it off right here. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, let me know what you think about the sound. Right now, I have my face shield up. Let me put it down right quick. And this is how I sound with the face shield down. Even though I'm speaking a little lower than I normally see. Normally, I talk at this volume right here. But that's kind of, I get excited when I'm talking about things and my voice <laughs> go all the way up. When I'm talking normal, like when I'm doing a parking lot practice, this is the voice I'm normally talking at because I have a good mic when I'm doing that and I feel no need to raise the voice or have any fluctuation in my voice. Anyway, we ought to ride this beautiful day. I'm headed back home. Only probably about two and a half miles from the house now, but look at all this. That's Mount Diablo in the distance over there. Kind of hazy today, so it might not be showing up really quick, clear. Anyway, right now I am doing, let me get up to 65, 60, 65 miles an hour. And I'm sure there's probably got some wind noise coming in and now. The one thing I don't like about the Sony mic is is not omnidirectional. It has a right and a left channel. So you gotta have it like right under you or right in front of your mouth. Because if not, then only one channel will pick up the voice. So right now it's kind of on my left side. So if you listen to head he with headphones, let me know how it's coming out. Is it only picking up on the one channel or on two? Okay, I'm still doing, well actually I'm doing 55 miles an hour now. Coming up on the stop side of about a one eighth of a mile. So, but anyway, if you are riding, make sure you ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.